Hi hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So before we dive into today's story, I do have to preface it by saying it may make you incredibly mad, frustrated, and, well, shocked as well. It did for me. When I first saw the, the headline of this story, I'm just going, what the hell? And then when I read more about the story, I'm going, well, Germany's fallen, and it's not a good thing. Now, my heritage happens to be German, right? I've mentioned that several times, and I even said that I want to disown my German heritage to some degree because of what Germany has been a part of in recent times and not just even in the past, right? Like Germany, it's just, it's not good, right? You know, Germany in World War I were on the Axis powers, same with World War II. They were responsible for murdering and, and killing over 6 million plus Jews. But in recent times, it seems like Germany, the law system or the courts that they've got set up over there, which I personally don't understand uh, myself, uh, I don't really get it. But anyway, the German courts are, well, Really despicable. Let's just say that. So this story is so insane, it goes beyond mere words. I found it really difficult to read this story. Then secondly, find the right kind of words to say that firstly, are not going to get me banned from this platform, but aren't going to leave me with like a, an aneurysm in the brain from sheer madness. Imagine with me for a moment that you are a young, innocent girl. You happen to be taking a stroll one day during the park, and then you're set upon by a man. The man starts to, you know what, to you. Takes you down, and then the R word. You're left fighting and struggling, but you can't seem to break free. Then this man that is on top of you decides that, it would be a good idea to call his mates. And so all of his mates join in in the right of the young girl. Soon, nine, nine migrants in Germany happen to rape this young girl. Now, the story doesn't end there because nine of these illegal immigrants in Germany, they don't face jail time. Only one of them faces jail time. But the rest are sent free. Imagine that. Imagine being the girl and your attackers that are actually arrested and supposedly charged. They don't get jail time, but only one of them. Only one. And the amount of jail time that that person gets is nowhere near the amount of jail time that this next person actually receives because a 20-year-old German girl was sent to prison for saying hateful remarks about this story, about the actual gang rapists that hurt and you know what to this innocent young girl. This 20-year-old was prisoned over the weekend. She received more jail time than the one that actually committed the... Can you see why I almost burst a, a vein in my head? How is this story even real? As a judge and you're presiding over this case or even you're the prosecution for goodness sake, what, your argument wasn't that good enough? It didn't convince the judge at all that a poor girl was raped by nine illegal immigrants and it's not good enough, but like we can't send them to prison. We can't put the nine illegal immigrants in prison at all on the taxpayer's dime. So you know what? We're going to send them free to more than likely do this to another girl. Nah, we, we can't do that. But you know what we can do? We can send a 20-year-old German girl that said some horrible, or not even horrible, said some truthful remarks about this entire story and about those nine men, 
She called them pigs because that's what they really are for doing a despicable and vile act to a young, innocent woman. But she happens to be facing more jail time and being charged. She's got now a criminal record for saying the truth. The ones that the ones that actually committed the horrible act got nothing. I don't understand it. What the hell's going on, Germany? What the hell's going on, judge? What's going through your brain? Oh, we can't possibly allow these Ill- illegal immigrants to spend any time in jail. What's beneath you, judge, is allowing these criminals back onto the streets. I can't even, I don't even, I've got no, no words at all to really comprehend or try and work out what this judge was even thinking. I, I don't, I don't get it. Even Elon Musk said this, wow, this is messed up. Elon, my friend, this is beyond messed up. This is next level. Imposing guilt upon people for things that happened before they were even born is not right. It needs to stop. The headline that got me mad reads, Germany, woman convicted of offending migrant gang rapists receives longer prison sentence than the rapists. Woman convicted of offending migrants. It's like now these these migrants that actually commit these horrible acts, depending on what country you're in, but seems like in America where we've got some significant issues going on there and even here in Australia, but if you offend a migrant, that migrant is then going to take you to court and go, you're going to lose big time because offending somebody, their feelings is somehow more important than the vile and horrendous act of you actually assaulting and raping an innocent girl. So you're trying to say to me, judge, in Germany, that offending somebody's feelings is more is more dangerous and more criminal worthy than actually assaulting physically a woman that didn't deserve to be assaulted physically and then I never thought I would see the day, people. But yet here we are. Here's the actual full story. A 20-year-old woman in Hamburg, Germany, has been sent to prison after making hateful remarks towards a migrant who was involved in the gang rape of a child. Child. The woman is just one of 140 people being investigated for making harmful comments towards the rapist. Imagine that. These migrants, an innocent child, an innocent child for goodness sake, but according to this judge and the, the, the court system and the police, whoever's involved, just a child, let the migrants walk free. But the woman that made these harmful comments, no, we're not going to allow her to walk free. Prison for her. for her, Criminally charged. Can only imagine how that woman, that 20-year-old woman must be feeling in that moment. Shock, horror, what the... You name it. Because I'm here in Australia. My heritage is German. And I'm going, what the... How is this even real? The horrific assault took place in 2020. The involved multiple groups of migrant men independently attacking a 14-year-old girl in Hamburg's Stad Park over the course of one night. That girl, that child, for goodness sake, had to endure things that no girl should ever have to endure over the course of a night. But that's not good enough for the judge, you see. Judge doesn't care about any of that, you see. Let them free. The park had become a popular hangout spot for youth during the COVID-19 lockdowns, and the girl had been 
there drinking with her friends. But they became scattered after police swept the park and broke up the groups while enforcing social distancing measures. Confused and alone, the girl was defenseless against the first mob of four predators. The men took turns and the girl. They robbed her of her wallet and cell phone. These, these people do not deserve to breathe air for what they did. If I was a judge who, if I was a judge presiding over this case, which unfortunately I'm not, but if I was, my stance would be clear, very crystal clear. And unfortunately, I can't say what I would do on this platform, but I guess you guys can figure out from my stance in previous videos, but I do not stand for this stuff. I have a very, very high standard and my actions in this regard would be, you get it. Disturbing, I can't read the rest, guys. It's just, you can read it if you want. Disturbingly, her assailants had begun inviting other men. The child was attacked a third time by a single man and then a fourth time. Finally, the child managed to break away and ran. Though pursued by her attackers. Eventually, she came across people who recognized her traumatized state and immediately called the police. But they wouldn't have done any good. What is happening to society where true justice can't even take place in Germany? So I asked the question, Germany, what the hell's going on? Surely to goodness the judge has a family or has a daughter. And if the judge does not actually think about the horrific nature that that young girl went through, for goodness sake. I mean, yes, I'm an empathetic person, but you cannot be stone cold hearted as a judge to not go, that innocent girl, that innocent child deserved better. Nine. Nine men attacked a 14-year-old child and got away with it. What kind of message are you sending, Germany, judge, prosecutors? Now these men are out in the streets. Well done, judge. Solid effort. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, my friends, you guys take care. You be blessed and I'll see you all in the next video.